Hello and welcome back to another run of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Iken and today we're continuing our episodes of Legendary Iron Man runs. This run here was in the making for a while or rather it had been requested for a while and it's one of those typical cases where you can't please everyone. Whilst many of you, specifically the dedicated viewers, really like modded runs and something crazy out there, I'm getting a lot of requests for a just plain vanilla run. The only War of the Chosen plain vanilla run without any uh, restrictions that I've ever done was the blind playthrough and that already resulted into a, a run uh, where I lost zero um, soldiers but I discovered a lot on the time during the run. So naturally when people are requesting kind of what's a reference run, I'm just starting with Legendary Iron Man. Can you show me a good run uh, that goes into detail of how to play through the game? And really um, what would be your strategy if you are completely unhinged and can use everything that the game has at its uh, disposal, then that would be exactly that run. I will attempt to go for legendary Iron Man, no restrictions on my side. You will see that I will use whatever it takes in order to beat the game. No mods, just basic War of the Chosen XCOM 2. There's a twist to it, as always, it wouldn't be a Saiken run uh, if there wouldn't. Um, I'm actually trying to do the flawless run, and that means uh, losing zero soldiers, losing zero missions, and I would also want to get as close as possible to flawlessing every single mission. I'll be talking a lot uh, through the concept of why I'm doing some of those things. For the more experienced uh, viewers, it might be a case of you know, already knowing a lot of the details, but repetition is the mother of uh, learning. Uh, so sometimes that can even help in this case. And for the newcomers that are looking for a good run, this will be the right way to uh, go about Legendary Iron Man. So what we're going to do is we're going to do Legendary, highest difficulty, of course. Um, if you have the cho uh, choice, always go for the UFO defense soundtrack. That is clear. Toggle advanced options. Um, for starters, I will be starting with the Reapers in uh, this run. We're of course going to uh, enable Grim Horizon for permanent dark events, uh, because why not? It just makes it a little bit more difficult. Everything else would make it um, unfortunately more easy, so we're going to skip all of the other options. So next up, of course, we're going to do um, Iron Man and we're just going to start with integrated content. So if we go into a new uh, adventure, let's see how close to a flawless run I can pull this one off. All right, so we landed. Let's take a look. In true XCOM fashion, we got inappropriate Murphy with us. The guy, the uncle that you never want at a Thanksgiving, the one that is always telling dirty jokes and making inappropriate uh, gestures. So Ronan Murphy uh, is here. Uh, he's telling the guys about his ex-wife and how she uh, took everything that he had. Uh, we got Enders with us, uh, which is great. We got Roro, uh, Ryan Fitzgerald uh, with us. Uh, he was a psy, a psy operative a little bit earlier. Um, in one of the runs, but now he's going to be kind of a real soldier and we got a Reaper by the name of uh, Shadow. So the name of the game for uh, Gatekeeper will be Volk, please shut up. Um, the name of the game of Gatekeeper will be to engage with one pack at a time. Don't overdo it and mainly just try to keep uh, our distance. I like that pack there. Maybe we can engage it from the rooftops here. So what we're going to do is a charge, a charge, a charge. Take that high ground over there. High ground uh, with its 20% uh, 20 uh, to hit is a huge benefit uh, for us. And of course we don't want uh, to lose that. Sometimes it means half cover, but it is well worth it. Good. Of course, these guys are moving into the exact wrong direction, but I don't mind. Got it covered. We are moving. 
and move in and uh, inappropriate Murphy is going to move up there and Ghost will actually move up here good if they somewhat stay where they are somewhat we're going to be good to go one two three all right so that is great you can already see that uh, in the open uh, the, the weapon range of course helps but uh, being at the height advantage definitely helps so what we would want uh, to do here is uh, we're going to open with a frag grenade 33% um, chance with a frag grenade to actually um, immediately kill one of them and it just deals a lot of damage and we can clean up the pack afterwards. Two overwatches um, which will not get the overwatch penalty uh, because we're in concealment so we're just going to shoot at them whilst they are in the open. I am expecting two kills and in true X confession that certainly does not hold true. That certainly does not hold true, but sometimes it just is what it is. Let's hope um, our cover is good enough. We're getting an overwatch here. Okay, fair enough. Let's uh, mm, give the rookies here the kills because we want to get them to squaddies. There we go. Promotions are happening. Bit of overwatch. Going back into the shadows. Reloading. And let's see where the other packs are. Two more to go. The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. Okay. We're not sure well, we chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Don't want to engage with a double pack. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion. Their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are strong and a lot of steroids, which is why they look the way they look. Good. Moving up, moving up. And inappropriate Murphy moves up as well. As you order, Commander. Good. We're seeing both of the packs. Let's just stay here for now. Good, we'll save our clay more for that pack over there. What I would like to do is maybe already thin it out. Because um, the Claymore would kill both of uh, the uh, troopers and the captain would be heavily, heavily injured. Which isn't too bad. He would be a one-shot at that point. Five damage uh, on the base Claymore makes for a very, very convincing argument. What you would want to do in Gatekeeper whenever possible is effectively making sure that um, you alpha strike the entire pack down. And this pack here, of course, is the least easy to alpha strike we lost some of our loot not great but okay and what now happens is the captain uh, is the last surviving member of the pack therefore uh, decides to 
just team up uh, with another pack. And I am pretty sure that these guys are not going to move anymore because they don't know uh, where the shots were coming from and are now in an alarm. Well, the captain still moves, but the rest uh, refuses to do so. I'm on the move. Good. Can we somehow get to high ground? I think there is a little bit of a trick that we could uh, do here. Which would be going around kind of the back entrance here and then taking shots oh look at you okay I see well we've been spotted out there is an easy way to kill him with a grenade but I first would like to try to actually kill him with shots. Of course, we do have rookies, so let's not expect too much from them. Inappropriate Murphy. Wide open. I want to keep our concealment, so what we're going to do is... Taking this guy out, and I, by the way, was wrong. The captain still was a loner pack. Good. Got it covered. Moves up. Moves up, and Enders begins to move up as well. Always keep the high ground. I see everything. Confirm. Move up, move up and Enders moves up as well. We're taking the chance to reload now. Just in case it's a longer uh, firefight. Out of curiosity, grenade throwing would not reach them. Um. But I will keep the option just to jump down here and throw a grenade. Uh, the question that I'm asking myself is... Could we get a bit closer? And I think the answer is actually yes. Alright, so uh, this is an objectively superior position. Because we can take all of uh, the front line here and start to flank them. So we're staying out of line of sight by breaking and uh, breaking that via walls and soon are going to go for them all right move over here that triggers the pack. Okay, cool, good enough. Move up, 
Let's remove cover and make sure that this guy here dies first. Sectoids oftentimes use their mind spin ability, which really doesn't do much to us. So let's kill him. Good job. Fantastic hit, I like it, and we're going to flank. The vector rifle, if it crits, crits relatively well. The question is, can it? Uh, does it crit? No, it isn't. All right, Reaper failed in that. Um, I hope for a mind spin. Okay, goes for the Reaper. No, goes for reanimate. Okay, well that makes sense. Good. We have no more grenades and it simply would not be efficient to to do anything but shooting. We're blocking the entrance here so that the zombie cannot reach us and we're taking 50-50s. That's a fantastic hit. Excellent one. Um, Inappropriate Murphy I think hasn't killed anyone so this year is a promotion. Nope. So they're trying to feed our rookies. Rookies are safe. We're moving far enough away to still be in cover against the sector. And kill him. And there we go. Flawless gate crasher. Menace one five. Rendezvous at the extraction point. Status confirmed. Squad here. Detonating charges. Good. There we go. We must never so. I oftentimes get uh, the age-old question, should I restart if I don't have a perfect uh, gate crasher? The answer is no. Uh, as long as one person survives, you're good. Continue. Don't uh, sweat it. Inappropriate Murphy is the sniper. I love it. Okay, then we got Roro as the Grenadier. Not bad. I like it. And we got a ranger. Interesting. Lots of corpses. Unfortunately, no loot, but that is fine. Um, so I would have wanted to have a specialist in the team, but you, know, you can't always get what you want. Inappropriate Murphy will now decide to go for the back line. Stays there and tells his jokes while everybody else needs uh, needs to risk their lives. That's how he rolls. Anders, on the other hand, wants to go in and uh, becomes a ranger. And then we got the good old row row here. going to support the team with a couple of grenades fantastic well now next uh, next question what should you do at a very standard uh, playthrough go for modular weapons that helps to uh, that helps to mod them and it also uh, goes for uh, magnetic weapons very very soon I would go for GTS first um, in a just bland normal build order it's the most efficient uh, building uh, first and we're hoping to be able to clear uh, to do a little bit more in terms of items building 
Flashbang is a good uh, start. Having one with us uh, can break mind control and save lives with it, which is actually a, a good thing uh, to do. So, might as well uh, build it. Do you ever regret leaving the city? No regrets there. And let's see what the Geoscape is offering us. To impress the Reapers, their operative has just provided us the coordinates to their HQ. Now that we're in the area, it may be worth spending Central, time. it's all good. Not Just do me a favor and less, less talky-talky, more action, okay? There is an engineer, good start, potentially one of the strongest uh, ones because you get a lot of momentum by just building and being fast with what you're doing. So that allows us to um, excavate immediately and start building more. Cool. So, after modular weapons, we immediately got our first breakthrough for improved swords. Uh, yes, please, that is good. Starting the excavation process, thanks to our newfound engineer. That has led us to another potential avenue of study. However, Good, let's get some supplies. We must do so immediately, or I fear we will lose our opportunity to return to it in the future. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. And this is going to be an interesting run. So, what are we up against? Hack a, a train workstation and get another engineer. Alright, the game does really does want us to uh, steamroll uh, ahead. Two engineers in the first two missions, that's pretty damn good. Um, we're going to continue right here with the next mission, but that happens in the next episode. As always, if you enjoy XCOM 2 content, and uh, even if you enjoy the classical uh, vanilla content uh, like this, then leave a comment and a like down below. The more engagement the video gets, uh, the more the series becomes uh, pub uh, public for everybody. And I appreciate your support in that. Thank you and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.